Hi, my name is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this new series on Omnisphere 2.0. This is a fantastic upgrade to an already great plugin, and in this series, we're going to take a fresh look from the ground up and go through everything from A to Z. Let's start off by looking at the hierarchy and the architecture for how sounds are structured in Omnisphere. Now, at the very top, Omnisphere is a multi timbral software instrument, so we work within a multi. Even if we're only using one sound, one part, we're always working within a multi. Now, in a multi, you can load and play up to eight different sounds, and they're called parts here. So multi consists of eight sounds, each on their own unique MIDI channels, or they can share MIDI channels for layering, but up to eight parts exist in a multi. Now, multis are used not only in the traditional way to set up eight separate sounds and sequence them on eight separate channels, but there's also a live mode and stack mode that's designed for live use if you want to layer and split sounds and change the way they're mapped on the fly. Now, multis store the entire state of the plugin. Now, underneath the multi, we have the individual parts. So each multi is comprised of eight different parts, and each part can be thought of as its own kind of separate, unique synthesizer, and they each part have full controls. They have their own oscillators, modulation routings, LFOs, effects, envelopes, etc. Now, the settings for each of the parts are saved within the multi when we save the multi, or you can just save it in your DAW that you're working in, and it'll all get recalled. Now, each part can also be saved on its own, and when we save it, it's called a patch. So we work with patches. Those contain all the settings of the sounds, and they can be individually loaded into any of the eight parts. So we load patches into parts, and multis are comprised of the eight parts. Now, the parts themselves can be split into layers. Each part has two layers, and we call them a layer A and layer B. And each layer has its own complete, unique set of synthesis controls. So each layer has its own polyphonic oscillator as its main basic sound generating source. And you can use it in one of two modes, either in sample mode, where we use sound sources, or you can use it in a synth oscillator mode, which uses raw waveforms to generate the sound. So each part can mix and match the sound of the two layers together, and that's what creates the part, the two layers. And at the core of the layer, we have either sample mode sound sources or synth mode basic raw waveforms. Now, sound sources are based on a map of samples, the way we think of traditional samples. They can contain velocity layers, chromatic note mappings, loop points, but they also contain metadata like images and notes and tags and this is really important in Omnisphere because it has such a huge library we can search using this metadata as search criteria. And the synth mode uses raw waveforms, and we have up to 400 waveforms to choose from now in Omnisphere 2.0. And what's great about it is that the layers contain either the waveform or the sound source, but the actual LFOs and modulation routings and effects, that's all stored with the patch in the part. So we can experiment by loading in a patch, and then changing the sound sources and superimposing them on the already existing LFOs and routings. So it's really easy to experiment with sounds and get good results quickly. So to summarize, Omnisphere is a multi timbral instrument. We work within a multi, and each multi contains up to eight parts, and we load patches into parts. And each part is comprised of two layers, and each layer can be based either on a sample mapping called a sound source or raw oscillator waveforms called synth mode. See if more in the next video.